Texas, like I told you. Yeah. So anyway, the driver starts talking about how, oh, you can't trust her, can't trust her, whatever, whatever. whatever. So I could tell by Stacy's face, like, like I'm not stupid at this point. I'm catching out, right? We go in the house. They, they tell us, gonna get ready for the pool, like I said. He's slapping her. Oh, go ahead. He asked me, where the money? Where the money? Where the money? Now, I see the driver. When we go in the hallway, he go run to the room. He like hurrying up past us, right? You can hear him in the drawers or wherever, whatever he doing. He come out. He like, hey, I'll be right back, y'all. Nobody is really paying him no attention. And so that bitch said, ask me. He had just closed the door. Just closed the door, y'all. So now, like, Jesus is like, ask who? She said, ask, we're going to call him Dirk. Ask Dirk. She said, all I did was make the phone call, and I'm wrong for that. She said, but you got to remember, I didn't know where the money was at. Girl knew where the money was at. He took him to the drop-off spot. You got to remember, babe. That's why I was scared. That's why I was scared because Daryl said you wouldn't go believe me. Whoa, whoa. Baby, I ain't never seen Stacy and them, which I ain't never seen them running. When I say they flew out that motherfucking door, they flew out that door. Baby, and that nigga had already gotten in the car and pulled off, right? Stacy now must have hopped in the car. They found his ass. It took about 30, 45 minutes. Maybe they had girl ass back in the house. Next thing I know, the groom, not the groom, Black Jesus is like all this time, bro. He like you was just gonna run, huh? Like you, he like, nah, bro, just, just, just don't kill me, bro. Just don't kill me, bro. Like I got kids like, bro. And it, he like, so, so now you give a fuck about your kids. Oh, so now it's don't kill me, bro. Like, bro, this whole time you set me up. Like, he like, and I never would have thought it was you. He like, damn. He like, no, nah, bro, it wasn't like that. It was just like a nigga wasn't eating. He like, you wasn't eating. He like, do you not got a Benz? Do you not got a house? Do your kids, can they go to any school they want to? Do your girl work? She don't, right? Like, so how you wasn't eating? And I always say this about niggas that get money, because y'all know my daddy used to be one of the biggest dope dealers in Compton. And I watched, like, my daddy was a soft dope dealer. And I mean by, like, he was cool. So, like, if his homeboys didn't have it, he'd put them on. Everybody got a house, but niggas still felt like they wouldn't eat because niggas want to be equal even though, even though they don't put in the same type of work. Like, I never understood that about niggas. Like, nigga, somebody could put you on, but you feel like you're supposed to be in a position. How the fuck you supposed to be in a position when you ain't doing what they do? But, you know, I digress and it's neither here nor there. Like, just tell us, y'all go get ready to get in the pool. So he make him get off the ground or whatever. A boy just steady screaming, like, don't kill me, bro. He like, shut your bitch ass up. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing to you. Shut your weird ass up. He like, you really tried to run and get away, though, bro. Like, it's crazy. So he make a phone call. Hey, yo, da-da-da, whatever, whatever. I don't know. We wouldn't go in there and go put on our bathing suits. We walking around the house. I'm like, I need a goddamn drink at this point. Stacy put me to the side like, look, babe. I know I kind of went off on you, but it's only for your own good. You know what I'm talking about? I care about you. I want nothing to happen to you. You've been on this crazy ride with me. I'm going to make sure it's beneficial for you. Like, you know what I'm talking about? We'll be gone in a couple of days. A couple of days? Huh? What the what the fuck? He like, huh? Don't in pot. Put the pill on my tongue, baby. Don't put it on here. <laughs> okay. 
You up now? You up? Go back to sleep. Oh, get the baby. Yes, go back to sleep. So I'm just like, a couple of days. So I'm going to tell my cousin, like, bitch. Did Michael say something? She was like, bitch, yeah, he said we're going to be here a couple more days. I'm like, okay, bitch, I'm, I'm tired of the circus, right? Now, I'm looking at Daryl, and Daryl just sitting on the couch, looking nervous. So, more niggas get there, take Daryl in the back. I don't know what happened in the back, I wasn't there. We go get in the pool, because now it's been about a good another 30, 45 minutes, and bitch, I'm back. Rolling. <laughs> Rolling in, <laughs> rolling on a river, rolling on a river, bitch. Oh, this one pills just to be fine. I'm talking about, baby, I'm rolling. You hear me? I am rolling. So I'm feeling good. I'm all over there on Stacy and shit. Yeah, oh, baby, we're going to have a good night. Yes, a good night. Yes, in a good space. So I thought. Next thing I know, car pull up. We didn't went. We didn't got out the pool because we probably been in the pool maybe like two hours. We got out the pool. We in the living room. We sitting there talking, and he just like, bro, I can't believe I got all these snake ass niggas around me. He like, but it's time to cut everybody heads tonight. I ain't playing no games. Whoa, whoa, da 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 da. I'm like, okay. He like, I'm bringing all the snakes out tonight. Stacy like, oh yeah? He like, yeah. He like, we getting rid of everybody tonight. Fuck. Shit, I hope you don't think I'm a snake, nigga. What the fuck going on? Hell no, bitch. Let me slip my ass back to the pool and shit. So, we sitting there, y'all. And the groom finally come back. Groom come back in. He don't look like himself now. He come in with a bag, hand him his money. He say, I see you tried. So who you want? He like, what you mean, bro? He like, who you want? Your wife, your cousin, or girl? Like, What you mean, Daryl? He like, mm. he like, you don't got something to tell me? He like, he like, look, bro. Today ain't the day to be playing no games. Tell me everything. Tell me everything you did. And I'm going to let you live. But if not, and if I think you are, all y'all going to be gone. You, your wife, your cousin, your bitch. Everybody. So now he looking like what? Bring the baby mama out. He like no, no. She got my baby. Like no, no. Bullshit aside. Like no, bro. And I said, oh, he like her. He like her, right? He end up telling how Daryl set the whole shit up. Daryl told him that that money was his cut. So, when the truth came out, technically, the groom ain't the one that really fucked over. Like, Jesus. You feel me? It really was a girl. All I'm going to say is this. Girl got snatched out the house, and I've never seen girl again. I don't have no backstory on girl. I literally saw girl get snatched out the house, and I've never heard nothing about girl again. So that's the end of the girl. We're going to leave that like that. But this is the kicker. So now, the room then got everything off his chest. Everything. And then he said, Can we just let bygones be bygones? And can we just move on? That's what he's telling right? He like, yeah, as soon as you tell Stacy, what you got to tell Stacy? 
kasih lain. Tapi sama. His eyes get big like. Come on, bro. Stacy like. What? He like, oh, Stacy. This nigga never told you? Now the groom looking nervous. And Malcolm looking like, what the fuck going on? Baby. Why the fuck Stacy little brother is by this nigga? Why the fuck is this nigga fucking Stacy mama? So, Stacy was getting money. This is how the story come out. When Stacy was getting some money, he was out of town, had him go over there, slide, do some shit. Nigga, the whole time he was over there, slide, fucking on Stacy mama. Now, y'all might say, well, what's the problem? She grown, he grown. You feel me? What's the problem? What you mean, what's the problem? The problem is, my homie been fucking my mother. And you my brother daddy? All I'm going to say is this. They had to pry that gun from Stacy. When I say Stacy took that motherfucker out and went to work on the groom motherfucking ass, and when I say I was screaming, Stacy, please don't. Please do not kill this man in front of me. Please, Stacy. I'm going to tell him. This is me. Babe, I'm going to tell. I'm scared. I'm nervous. Please, because at this point, logic was not. When I say Stacy was picking up vases, chairs, te- when I say, I was like, oh, I know you was this crazy. Like, no, he was tripping, tripping, tripping to the point. It took Black Jesus, Malcolm, and like six other niggas to get Stacy up off that nigga. So me being me, when Stacy finally calmed down, I'm like, babe, you tripping. You feel me? Like, you tripping, calm down, babe. Like, unfortunately, fathers be fucking on their daughter friends, and sometimes, hell, the mamas be fucking on the son friends, too. You feel me? That nigga said, my mama head, fool. She done went up to the yonder. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. He like him. I've been raising my motherfucking little brother all this time. I'm like, he like, no, no, this nigga gotta be lying. So, he's just like, bro, you know, I wouldn't lie to you. Now, remind you, Black Jesus is older than Stacy Malcolm in the groom. He's older than me. He like, bro. Like, nigga, your mama told me. He like, I knew back then. He said, the reason why I ain't tell you. He like, because you was real young and wild. Dang, I need to kill that old man. Stacey said, so what the fuck you was going to do to me? Oh, so it's cool when you want to kill a nigga, but when I want to do it, it's like, fuck it. <laughs> Basically, I'm paraphrasing. Y'all know what the words they use. But it went to that. And then, this is when the second part came out. So he brings out the baby mama and them, Adrian and them, right? After this nigga basically said, fuck his cousin and fuck his wife, right? Motherfucker, he called him out there and he said, who do you love? He said, you, daddy. The whole time, this bitch was in the plot twist with Black Jesus against this nigga. So that's why Black Jesus knew every motherfucking move 
a motherfucking little maid. So now he looking at him like, you throw your wife away, your homies away, for this bitch. This is him, my bitch. I'll always be that bitch. I can make her do anything. When I say y'all sh- y'all should have seen the look on the grown face, like his soul left his body. He was so blank faced, like. Mind you, he beat the fuck up. You can tell they roughed his motherfucking ass up. You hear me? He fucked up. He he bleeding to a certain extent. He fucked up. So the one out he thought he had, she was the plot twist in the whole game. So he go and he tell the wife and the cousin. He bring them out. He just sitting there. Like I said, people is acting normal like Ain't shit going on. He tell the wife, hey, your husband chose her over both of y'all. She like, you bitch ass nigga. You's a bitch. He like, fuck you bitch. That's why you tied up. Nobody give a fuck about you. I gave him his money back. Bro, can I just go, bro? I I want you. Ain't never got to worry about me. He like, oh, you is go, go. You go, go. Right. He like, you got my bitch. And then he ain't trying to tell his wife, like, it wasn't that I didn't love you. Da, da, da. He trying to do his whole spill. It ain't working. And this is when I said, oh, I guess I'm the goddamn fool. Cause baby, why the fuck was the wife and the cousin in on it too? Bitch, the whole kidnapping was stage, ho. Bitch. Come to find out. (laughs) Everybody was in on it. So now I'm sitting there. When they go cut the wife out. And the cousin. Now the cousin didn't know. But the wife did. Let me make that real clear. The wife knew Adrian and me. The cousin didn't know. Bro. I hope y'all enjoyed the story. I love y'all.